Hello, my name is Cindy. Welcome back to my channel. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Today we're going to Whitehorse for a vacation. Today I am Tomomi san. Hi, y'all. I am with Tomomi san. Hi. And I am also with Jade. Hi. We're waiting for the bus, so we'll see you at the airport. Bye. We're here at the airport. <laughs> Yay. Yay. Uh -oh. Hello, everybody. We made it past the security. Uh, we're at their gate. So, hi, hi, hi. Dido. Hi. We have two hours until the um the bl the plane the plane the plane <laughs> the plane the plane takes off. So we're gonna hang around. Bye bye. Come on, we son. stop in Edmonton we're not there yet but we're stopping in Edmonton I think to pick up more customers I don't know but the flight to Edmonton was like 32 minutes we're now going to continue to Whitehorse Nemi no san how are you? <laughs> How are you today? Good, thank you. See everyone on White Horse. Say bye. <laughs> Hotel. Hi. Hi. Are you excited? Yes. Very so exciting. Much. Room tour. Uh, very tiny. So our room has two queen size bed. Tomomi sound sleeps here. Me and my sister sleeps here. Small chair. And they're trying on clothes for tonight. <laughs> You're healthy, right? I already have a. I already have a hat. <laughs> And this is our view. Iceland, so nice. Oh. I'm gonna film you guys trying on. No. <laughs> no one's being. No one's gonna be naked. True. See, true. Mm. Try the pants. Yeah. The, I think the, pants gonna, the pants gonna be long. Because yeah. we're short. We're sh oh my god. Oh. We're short. I know. <laughs> <laughs> You guys struggling is cute. We've never seen these kind of clothes before. Yeah, exactly. Let alone trying it. <gasps> Tell 
かわいいはいチーズはいチーズはいチーズ,ーズ,ーズ,ーズ<笑>ーこうかわいいかわいいです二人とも<笑> This is my first time wearing this bender. Really? Yeah. Oh, look at you. I've never seen you staring in the mirror for so long. Right? Mm -hmm. How light. The yeah, you got the wrong side to move. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Really <laughs> Pocket. Kawaii. Wait, let's put on the whole suit. Yeah, put on the whole thing. We need to try the shoes on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so how do you put on the shoes on? I'm like. Mommy <laughs> said, look how long <laughs> it is. I think you should change. Yeah, I think you should change. Yeah. But that's small. Wait, right? wait does that mean I'm taller than you? <laughs> yeah. Mine's barely that much. You can't really、What? see Tomomi's on some feet. Does that mean I'm taller than you? 158. Eh? 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 Eh?
You miss. You miss. You miss. Is that you, me? Yeah. Please trust me, I'm Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> She's doubting a Japanese. <laughs> you, me? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Hi everyone. So this is a quick update. Last night we went to see the Aurora, but we waited outside and then there was nothing. We couldn't see it because the, the sky wasn't clear. So we went home disappointed. We all went to sleep and now we're gonna get some some brunch before heading to a different activity we have planned for today before viewing the try to view the um the northern lights again tonight hopefully we see them tonight before going back back home to um thursday morning yeah so wish us luck They're so big. And the one sitting up will probably walk away. Okay. Sheena and Doggo? Yeah. Sheena and Doggo. They're so big. I haven't touched pet like dogs in such a long time. They're so cute. We're going dog sledding. This should be so much fun. Thank you. Look at all these dogs. running around <laughs> the one standing on top though <laughs> hello guys future Cindy here so if I look a bit different, it's because um, the trip was in the beginning of November. Right now it's January 2022. I am editing the video and I thought just to like film a quick, um, a quick, I didn't 
I didn't plan this out. I didn't write a script for this, so. <laughs> um, I thought just to like film a quick explanation, I guess, to the dog sledding activity that we signed up for. Before arriving at the place, I was quite worried with a few things. One of them being um, the dogs being overworked and like abusing the dogs to work in like a cold condition and in a harsh environment. So seeing the dogs chained up, like what you just saw, made me a bit worried. I have to ask a lot of questions to see if this part of the video is suitable or like it's acceptable for me to include it in the video. So I ask a lot of questions like how are the dogs like being treated? How are they treating the dogs? How are they, how are they taking care of the dogs? And like are they being overworked? How does this work? So yeah, they are very like understanding and they explain a lot to me so i learned a lot from how they operate so um so basically all the dogs that you saw being chained or like yeah i guess that's like the word for it being chained up to like separate houses they're a, they are the dogs who are whose job is to like pull the sled so the dogs are not being overworked they are constantly being switched out every few rounds so so the dogs pulling the sled gets to rest and then they will switch out with other dogs so they can pull the sled and like the way the, the reason why they are barking because they are welcoming us and apparently from what i can from what i was told every single dogs want to pull the sled because they get to like um run around in a, in a way so basically they want to go on a walk <laughs> like normal dogs so they would get switched out every so often and then after every single trip tour guides would feed them and which you will see later in the video where i feed them where us guests get to feed them and we also get to have a tour around the place and learn more about the dogs so another thing that i was worried about like the cold the weather because white horses is very cold i asked how are they keeping the dogs warm basically the dogs are um they have thick fur so they are accustomed to the coat and they like they like the coat so so yeah um and then once the dog reach a certain age they will get retired and like doggo and sheena that you saw in the beginning of the dog trip they are retired dogs so yeah they would live their remaining days up with the owners before they pass away and the new dogs the puppies that you saw when they reach a certain age they will start training and then they will get to pull the sled once they get older and stronger so yeah i i will i tried to keep this as short as possible but i thought like just making a quick explanation to how this thing works so yeah um so sorry for like the long intermission, but yeah, let's get back to the video. Cindy again. This will be the last time you see me, I promise. But I just want to make a quick, another quick note. Like, you might be wondering, why are they pulling the car? They are not. The dogs are not pulling the car. Um, so from what they told me, this, there weren't a lot of snow in the video. So they usually have more snow. 
and with more snow they would actually have like the actual sleds with one or two people per sled for the dogs to pull so because there were enough snow they have to take out the car for customers for people to get on and for the dogs to still be able to like go on the walks so the dogs are not pulling the car itself just to make so you will see it later when it's my group's turn to go there is another tour guide next to us and she's the one driving the car but she's also not going too fast or too slow she would match just the dog the dog's pace so the dogs can like run without feeling the pressure that they are pulling the car so yeah a quick note they are not pulling the car itself just to make it clear okay you like that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> you take it, oh, normally it's like that on the door, with the head there, okay? okay? So, you put it this way, first, right? <laughs> Sorry. Yep, yep, exactly. Okay. So, just take it like that, okay? You have to be that oh, okay. okay? Max? Oh. Sit. Good boy. Uh, yep, yeah. this way, good. Yeah, that's very big on <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's too big for him, but just for the example. Right? And then hands with you? Yep. Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> nice. Nice. And the other one. Nice. <laughs> oh, you put it. No, it's not in the sun anymore. Good side. Alright, and here we are. You see it's easy? Thank you, Max. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you basically can run. And then that's it. So if I have to go with the dogs and pet them or do something, I will just ask you to push this brake. Okay? Which one? This one? Oh. If I go out, uh, just push the brake and then put my safety blocks under okay. the wheels. Cool. You're my co-pilot today. Oh, oh wow, <laughs> that's a lot of pressure. <laughs>
<laughs> Just looking at their butt. <laughs> They know the directions? Yeah. Oh wow. We got back to the hotel from the dog Husky Rush. It was so much fun. It was cold. Yeah. Now we're just going to freshen up, take a nap before our second trip to the to watch the Northern Lights tonight. Hopefully we'll see some tonight before we leave early tomorrow morning. Hi. See everyone there. I don't know if you guys can see it. You can see it a little bit. Oh, <laughs> Four hours. You know, eight hours from two days combined. <laughs> It's so cold. It's like negative um, 17. <sighs> so good. <laughs> yeah, so seeing the Northern Light is a success. Yay! Hello. So, um,. This is like an update, I guess, or a follow-up of the trip. So we got home yesterday. No, two days ago. We got home two days ago from Whitehorse. Um, I, I didn't film anything at the airport or film anything afterwards because we arrived back at the hotel at past 2, like 2.30 a.m. And we left for the airport like just three hours later. So I was very tired. I couldn't film anything. I couldn't, I, I, I can't film anything. So yeah, um, we went home afterwards. After that Aurora Borealis, is that how you supposed to say it? Mm -hmm. Aurora Borealis. So we went home, we went back to the hotel after viewing a successful trip to see the Aurora Borealis. Um, went home, we went to the airport and we flew back to the city that we live in. So yeah, um, that is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching our trip to Whitehorse. Um, and thank you, you know, to my sister and our friend Tomomi-san for, you know, letting me film them throughout this trip. It was very fun. Yeah, it, it was a trip that we needed after like a long semester, you know? Yeah, so. That is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Until the end, please let me know what you think down below. Um, follow me on Twitter at Cindy underscore SRTBR for updates of when I post my next video or other things I, m I might tweet about. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And 
I will see you in my next video. Bye!